Hello. Oh, hey, how are you? Yeah, going good. <laughs> Jeez, this is cozy, isn't it? Yeah, well, come on in. <laughs> Why an RV? Why not, really? Uh, actually, RVs, in, especially in New Zealand, they're pretty much part of the culture. So if you're going to spend three months in New Zealand, there's no better way to do it than in an RV. Is it comfortable? It's really comfortable. Uh, it takes a while to get used to, but you learn how to kind of shuffle around and figure things out. Yeah. So where's your favorite place in New Zealand? Oh. That's a hard question, but if I had to choose a place, I would say the Otago region of the South Island. What's some Kiwi slang that you've learned? <laughs> uh, I've learned quite a few. Bugger it is a good one. Um, Bob's your uncle. But I think somebody said that they, they're claiming that it's British. So there has been some controversy. What was the first thing you thought about this morning? I thought about this bloody wind blowing the camper van around because it's been pretty hectic. Who's the last person you text? I texted my brother. What did you talk about? We like to send quotes from stupid movies to one another. What was one of those quotes? It was from the movie Airplane, if you've ever heard of that one, the 1980s classic. And the quote was, because I just watched it the other day, um, all right, give me ham on five, hold the mayo. <laughs> What's your favorite emoji? The one that I use the most often is the crying, laughing face, but I have to say, since I've been in New Zealand this long, the two beer um, glasses clinking together. What's a skill that you wished you had? I wish I had the skill of being indifferent about certain things. What's a secret skill that you do have? Baking a pretty good loaf of sourdough bread. What's your favorite character from a book, TV, movies? I always loved the classic cartoons growing up, so I'd have to say Yosemite Sam. Can you give us an impression? <laughs> He's always rooting, tooting. <laughs> if you had to retire tomorrow, where would be the perfect place to retire? Oh, we're in it. We're here in New Zealand. What household chore do you hate the most? I hate picking up after the clothes that my husband lies, lies, leaves lying around the house randomly. Do you remember your first triathlon? I remember my first triathlon well and the fact that I had bought a um, on sale triathlon kit that was white and I realized after you got that wet why it was on sale. What is one word that describes triathlon? Commitment. Pretzels or crisps? Pretzels. Beach or country? Country. Who do you like racing the most? Uh, she's retired now but my favorite race uh, buddy was always Leander Cave. Red or white wine? Red wine. What's your favorite triathlon-related memory? Uh, just a few races ago, Ironman Louisville, when my mother finally got to come watch me race a triathlon race after 15 years of racing it. Yes, she got to come and thank God I won that race. But of course, now she expects that on everyone. So, yeah. <laughs> What's your worst habit? <sighs> I have... I had this habit of I can't leave to go on a trip or sometimes even to go out of the house to do a swim workout or something without cleaning things up. I have to have everything cleaned up before I leave. What's something that you've never tried? I have never tried to downhill ski, actually. What's something that you've tried that you wished you hadn't? Stinky tofu in Taiwan. What's your favorite movie? The original Star Wars. So it'd be number four, five, or six. What's the weirdest thing you've ever been asked in an interview, not counting this one? Mm. What is one of the worst things that you've eaten during a race? What's your earliest childhood memory? The one that scars me the most is my dad um, teasing me by dangling my Cabbage Patch Kid doll out the window of our caravan and accidentally letting go of the arm and me watching the um, Cabbage Patch Kid doll go down the freeway. Yeah. Pineapple on a pizza? No. <laughs> Who was your first famous crush? Corey Feldman or one of those. I think it was one of those guys. If you could be at the top of your game in any other sport, mm -hmm. what would you choose? Mountain running. Who has been your idol at any stage in your life? My dad would have to be my idol. If you had the world's attention for 30 seconds, what would you say? Everybody, let's just calm down. <laughs> Uh, should we move into the lounge room? Yes, let's do. Who do you think is the most underrated triathlete on the circuit? It's this new kid coming up here, actually in New Zealand, uh, the Jack Moody. Uh, yeah, I think he's. Uh, I think he's something to watch out for. Who is the funniest person you know? I would have to say my buddy Bruce Gennari. He was one of our former um, Timex teammates. Burgers or tacos? Tacos. If you had a chance to interview anyone in the world, who would it be? Sir Edmund Hillary. Yeah. What two questions would you ask? What prompted you to climb Mount Everest? And 
how in the world did you ever figure it out? <laughs> uh, what's your favorite thing about triathlon? The finish line most of the time. <laughs> what are you most scared of? I'm scared of drowning. What was a lie you recently told? Oh, I didn't see that message. What's the best compliment you've ever received? It would have to be from a couple of ladies that I was um, on a relay team with a few years ago um, for a, it was kind of an initiative to get uh, women into triathlon. And so we formed a relay team and they are now totally into doing triathlon. And so they came back to me and said that I was their biggest um, motivator to get into triathlon. What's your go-to dance move? <gasps> the running man. <laughs> it's hard to do in this thing. <laughs> whoa, whoa. What's one change you'd like to see in triathlon? I would like to see the even slots to Kona for pro men and pro women. What are you currently obsessed with? I'm currently obsessed with baking my sourdough bread. <laughs> the best surprise you've ever received? My, the best surprise I ever got was when my husband bought me a drone for Christmas. What's one thing you do that drives your partner crazy? The fact that I constantly clean up all the clothes that he leaves lying around the house. <laughs> so what's one thing he does that drives you crazy? <laughs> yeah. Leaving his clothes lying around the house. <laughs> what's the worst bit of advice you've ever been given? That you don't need to swim that much to be a fast swimmer. Uh, so what's the best bit of advice? <laughs> You need to swim more to swim faster. <laughs> if there was a fourth discipline in triathlon, so a quadathlon, mm -hmm. what should it be? A beer chugging contest. Yeah. <laughs> What's the best bit of technology? A smartwatch. What's the worst? A smartwatch. <laughs> in one word, describe yourself as a teenager. Awkward. So in one word, describe yourself now. Awkward. <laughs> what makes you laugh uncontrollably? Movie quotes from ridiculous movies in the 70s and 80s. What is something that you should do but probably won't? I should probably swim more to get faster. <laughs> what is your biggest pet peeve? People who don't listen. Where do you see yourself in 10 years? Contributing more to people living active, healthy lifestyles. In a movie about yourself, what celebrity would play you? Oh, I would have to have Annette Benning play me. Oh, yes. What superpower would you love to have? I would have to say the superpower of indifference. Do you have a nickname? Oh, little dork. Oh. <laughs> Why the love of sourdough? Because it's a complicated, long, drawn-out process to get to something very basic, which is pretty much the definition of triathlon as well. <laughs> What's something you could eat for a week straight? Sourdough. <laughs> Would you rather come face-to-face -face with a miniature hippopotamus or a giant cockroach, both in a bad mood? Miniature hippopotamus. Have you ever stolen anything? I have stolen, I'm pretty sure, a shirt from my sister at one point in time. Nothing too wild. Sorry. <laughs> What's the hardest thing about being a triathlete? Consistency. What is your spirit animal? My spirit animal is a cat. Where do you want triathlon to take you? Gosh, triathlon's taken me to a lot of places already. Um, I would like to see it take me to push myself even further to some of my li limits in endurance sports. Last question. Shall we go get coffee? <gasps> Absolutely. <laughs>